and all the other wonderful sponsors of this event. Uh, it is a terrific time for us to, uh, to talk about these issues. And I think as I was looking at those images, I'm realizing I, I am a planner here, and maybe that's what's wonderful about the partnership. RPA has been around since the 1920s. We produced three landmark plans for the tri-state metropolitan region. Um, and uh, looking often at more of the transit systems and the infrastructure that we think are necessary to produce the kind of vertical density that we're talking about here. This was a first layout for suburban ra rapid transit system from 1929 that RPA released. In the 1960s, for our second plan, we started to see the exodus out of the center city at RPA argued that this growth out of the region's core was okay as long as it followed in what we called the constellation of centers. That was seeing development in the Stamfords and the White Plains and the New Brunswick's and Newark's, those places connected by transit, so that we could still kind of connect the horizontal and vertical density. This is from Urban Design Manhattan, a report that was produced as part of the second regional plan. Uh, down to uh, the 1996 third regional plan, which promoted the three mega projects, uh, which are all moving forward at this time, and is and, and 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 brings us to really a remarkable moment of time in the history of the New York region. A new Hudson Rail Tunnel access to the region's core, which will essentially double the transit capacity of New Jersey and provide a new commuter shed for New York to keep building. If we're going to build that West Side uh, uh, business district, it's going to require more connections. Uh, 90% of new commuters coming into Manhattan since 1980 have been coming from west of the Hudson. And Chris Ward, the head of the Port Authority, is leading the charge on that project, so it's wonderful to have him. Uh, Metrolink is RPA's name for, for our larger vision for the Second Avenue subway, which Lee Sander, as the head of the MTA, is in charge of. Uh, this is essentially building a new system, um, uh, the likes of which we haven't seen this kind of additional capacity in several generations in the region. And the east side access, which will bring the Long Island Railroad, also part of the MTA family, directly to Grand Central and the east side, where most of the jo jobs are, instead of requiring all these, uh, all these daily commuters to backtrack on the way back there. I think that as we see these three projects moving forward, and it's so critical that they maintain the mo their momentum uh, in the current fiscal environment, uh, we have this remarkable opportunity to talk about these kinds of issues. Um, we are, after all, the, the Himalayas of density of the United States. Uh, this is the densest uh, region, metropolitan region, in the entire country. Uh, when we look at comparing Manhattan and Hong Kong, uh, and we see, and I, I don't know if this will show up that well, but there was an interesting, just as a provocation, I wanted to, to finish with this, to talk about looking at the comparative density, population density per square mile. I'm sorry, we're still on the old <laughs> system at our gig. Uh, you can see Manhattan had achieved at the beginning of the 20th century, a century ago, uh, just this, this incredible density that had really been, we, we used to say, unmatched in, in, in human history. But if you actually take these, go back to these maps, and just look at the built portion, because after all, as Carol said, three quarters of Hong Kong is preserved land, whereas in Manhattan, less than a quarter is park land ourselves. The maps actually show up something different here. And you, and you see that, in fact, just recently, Hong Kong has overtaken New York's historic peak in terms of density. And so there is a, uh, there is a kind of an incredible threshold being reached here um, by these aspects. Um, it's a wonderful, I'll, I'll turn it over to Carol in a moment to introduce Thomas, but just to, as the respondents to his presentation, it's a thrill uh, for us to have Chris Ward and Lee Sander, the heads of the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey and the Metropolitan Transportation Authority here to talk. <laughs> RPA and the Port Authority and the MTA, after all, are three of the progressive area, era institutions that were really created. I mean, we were less than a decade apart, I think, late 19-teens and, and early 20s for us. And the MTA, of course, was pulled together uh, out of the, the restructuring of the Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority that Robert Moses had created. And in many ways, with the, the two uh, gentlemen here this afternoon, Chris Ward and Lee Sander, when you think about the Port Authority and the Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority, you think of those power builders, those master builders, Austin Tobin uh, and Robert Moses, uh, both the good and the bad of what they did. 
I, I teach planning also, and I'm often asked as I, as I talk about the history of RPA, one of the questions, of course, is what is the relationship that RPA has with these two other institutions that have the footprints of some similarity and working on the same issues? And I say, well, over the decades, you've seen the times that RPA has worked with and against uh, these institutions. Uh, and uh, I, I um, but, but more recently, it has been just wonderful to have Chris running uh, the, the Port Authority and Lee at the MTA because we do have, at the leadership of these two organizations, uh, people who've really spent their entire careers preparing for this position and putting themselves both at a moment in time and a person with the skill sets and the leadership ability to lead them in a way that I think, uh, that I think means that in future generations we won't be talking about just the Austin Tobin and the Robert Moses generations, but the, the Chris Ward and the Sanders. I truly believe that, so it's wonderful to have them here. Carol, would you like to introduce Thomas now? Thank you very much. Thank you.